Hello everyone, welcome to Native Mobile Wits. In our last video, we have learned how we can implement our own stack class using Kotlin. And from today onwards, we are going to solve some stack problems. We are going to use lead code and some other coding platforms to figure out what problems we are going to solve. And today, I have choose this stack problem, valid parenthesis. So we'll start from here and we'll go on to more complex problems in future videos. Okay, so we got to know that only these characters can be there. Okay, we have noted down the characters which can be present in a string. Now let's consider the rules given by this problem statement. Okay, okay, so the first rule is saying that open brackets must be closed by the same type of brackets. Okay, so we have this collection. Like if we have one bracket, one open parenthesis, it should be closed from the same group. Like it should be closed with this closed parenthesis itself. Okay. If we have a open bracket, it should be closed with this closed bracket. If we have a open curly braces, it should be closed with one closed curly braces itself. Okay. Now the second rule is open brackets must be closed in the correct order. That means if we have a expression like this, so it should be closed like this. That means if we have a open parenthesis, then again we have one open parenthesis. Now we have two open parenthesis. Okay then these two open parentheses should be closed with respective type of bracket. What is the respective type of bracket? This one. Then there should be two closed parentheses. Okay. Then this will be one correct order. Let's say the smallest correct order string is this. Like one open bracket is there, then one closed bracket is there. Again, we have another type of string. So this is also one perfect string where one open curly braces is there and then again one closed curly braces is there okay let's say so in this string we have one open parenthesis then we have one closed parenthesis so we don't have to worry about these anymore because they two are balancing each other then we have one open bracket we have one closed bracket these two are also balancing each other so we no need to worry about these we have one open curly braces and we have one closed curly braces so these two are also balanced with each other so this is string is a valid string because all of the characters are balancing each other out if we have an string like this we have one opening parenthesis we have one curly braces then we have one closing parenthesis we have one closing curly braces so is it a valid string so if you are thinking that yes there is one opening parenthesis one opening curly braces and then there is one closing parenthesis and closing curly braces, right? But no, the rule we have is open bracket must be closed in the correct order. So now if we see the order here, we have one parenthesis, then we have one curly braces. So to balance this string out, first we need one curly braces, but we don't have that because this curly braces and this open parenthesis are not balancing each other out. So this is not a balanced string. Okay. What can be a balanced string? If we have a open parenthesis, then we have one curly braces, right? So if we need a balanced string, we need one curly braces to close and balance these two. Then we need one closed parenthesis to balance these two. Okay. Then this will be a balanced string. Okay. Now how we can figure out that which data structure we can use? So if we consider one example, let's take this use case, second example itself. So we have one open parenthesis, then we have one closing parenthesis, and then we have one bracket group, and we have one curly braces group. This is a string, right? Now, how we are figuring out, let's debug this. So first we take one element, this one, and we store in a memory. This is our memory. So we have something like, we have one opening parenthesis. The next element is coming, which is a closing parenthesis. So we will check. So we will check. Is it matching with the previous element? And do we have any previous element first of all? So yes, we have one element. Then is it matching with that previous element? Yes, it's this closing parenthesis is matching with this respective opening parenthesis because we had one group, right? So we can delete this from the list and because these two are balancing each other so we can delete this from the list 
we can delete this from the list our list is empty as of now and these two have balanced each other out so these two have balanced each other out and now we don't have any element in the list then the next element comes up which is an opening bracket okay we enter this inside our list then the next element comes up the closing bracket okay so we will again check do we have any element inside our storage yes we have one opening bracket the next element we are getting this closed bracket so this is again balancing this group okay so we will delete this because these two are balancing each other out so we will delete this from the list we will delete this item also from our list okay then we are getting the next element so we will check do we have any element inside our stack no okay do we have any element inside our memory no so we will enter this inside our storage we have one curly braces then we are getting the next element and we are checking we have one element inside our storage that is one open curly braces and this is balancing that previous element so we will delete this element also from storage now at the end of this string after going through this string we find out that we have one empty storage that means every characters was balancing each other out so we have one perfect string we can return as true so after going through this algorithm we are trying to figure out one pattern here that if we have a expression let's say we have an expression like this okay so what we are doing we are checking we are taking the first element we are storing inside a storage we stored one parenthesis then the second element comes up so we will see if this element is matching the group from the last element so we are cancelling these out how we are cancelling we are deleting the previous element also and the last element we are deleting so we are getting this pattern here lifo okay this is saying last in first out so in this expression also and in this expression also the last element which was going inside the storage and when the next element was coming and was matching this element we was deleting the last element that means we are following the lifo pattern so we can say that we can use a stack here okay we can use a stack if we consider this last example also we have one string we have one opening parenthesis then we have one closing bracket so as per our algorithm if we store the first element inside our memory we have opening parenthesis then the next element comes up which is a closing bracket so we check do we have any element inside our memory we have which is a opening parenthesis but that last element is not matching to this okay this type of this bracket is different and this last element is of different type so these two are not matching and that's why this string is not a valid string because we cannot delete this last element we need to store the next element and that's why we have few values in inside our memory okay so now after going through each of these expressions we have note that we need to go all of these elements one by one to figure out if the string is a valid string or not so our time complexity will be big o of n because it's dependent on all of the elements inside this given string same way our storage will also be big o of n because we need to store all of these elements inside a given string okay either it can be like this either it can be like this we need to store all of these element that's why our time complexity is also big of n and space complexity is of big of n let's jump into the code and let's implement this and let's check out the solution okay so let's create one stack and we are going to use here custom inbuilt stack and we have also implemented our own implementation in our previous video you can check that out here we are going to use one stack of characters okay now we need to make sure that we have one map or one mapping where we can understand that if we are getting one bracket then what is the respective closing bracket okay and if we are getting a closing bracket then how we can figure out what is the opening bracket or something like that so we will store these bracket inside a hash map so we will create one map of brackets let's say brackets map okay so we will create one hash map of and here we will just add these values so first we will add the closing 
parameters right so we will take this closing parenthesis we will add this and we will map this to opening parenthesis okay then we will take this closing curly braces and we will map this to opening curly braces okay we will take this closing bracket and we will map this to opening bracket okay this is our stack we have one brackets map as well okay now we have this string inside this we need to find out all of these conditions so we will just write one for loop and we will run for every character inside this string so we are writing characters in this string and then we will write one if check we are going to find out if we are directly getting a closing bracket right like if we are directly getting this closing parenthesis closing curly braces or closing bracket so we are just trying to find out that so we are just checking that with the help of our map if bracket map contains character that means if either this value is coming or this is coming or this is coming right if we are directly getting a closing parenthesis which can be either it can be this it can be this or it can be this if we are getting these three value which are already present inside our bracket map we are going to check then we are going to add one more check that our stack is not empty hopefully like we have some previous value inserted so we are adding one check here that if our stack is not empty and our stack topmost element is matching to this character how we can find out the topmost element we can use peak this will give us the topmost element at a current given state inside our stack we are going to find out if this item stack topmost element is matching the respective value from our brackets map so we are going to take this brackets map dot get character okay let's resize this little bit further can we do that yeah okay so we are just checking that if our bracket map is containing the character that means we are getting either any of these value then we are checking if our stack is not null stack is not empty that means there are some previous value and our stack topmost element is matching to these value either it is the opening parenthesis or curly braces or opening bracket right so what we will do we will just pop the element from our stack and let's add one else check that if our stack is empty directly or these values are not matching so we can return false from here because for example let's say our string is starting directly with this right so we cannot make this a valid string suppose you add this also later on but at first we have a closing bracket which cannot be evened out after this right so this will not work and that's why our string will not be a valid string if this condition does not fulfill okay now we'll come back to this parent if block and we'll add one else condition here that if these values are not coming right we are getting normal values like this or this or this right so we will just push these value inside our stack okay and then in the end we are just going to check if our stack is empty or not so we will just return this okay so let's run our program okay there is one additional character yes like this okay now let's run our program again so will it run this time yeah it is showing that test cases are accepted now let's try to submit this solution okay fine our solution is accepted and this is 
beating I think 46.72 percent I am not very sure because I am very new to lead code but from now on we are going to solve so many problems and we are going to be regular on this so for notes as of now let's add this playlist detail itself we are just going to take this and we are just going to add this URL of our playlist and we are going to add tag stack okay this is our solution and we are going to submit it so that's it for the today's video guys in this video we have solved this ballad parenthesis stack problem I hope you enjoy this video if you enjoy this please like share and subscribe to my channel I will see you tomorrow